Hello to my Taurus. Taurus, let's get into your reading. Happy birthday, Taurus. Happy birthday. Hopefully you all are celebrating your birthdays like the rock stars you are. I am talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. Let's get it. Let's get into it. Happy full moon in Scorpio. Happy full moon. That's right. Remove those rose colored glasses. We have a full pink moon in Scorpio. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let us get into it. Let's go. I've already asked Most High God for uh, clarity in every area of your lives. All right, King of Pentacles. I see you jumping out the deck. Nine of Wands. Here we have, okay, money, 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 money. So Nine of Wands came out, right? So you're definitely coming through a storm. Somebody's coming out of a storm. Somebody is starting to kind of sort of get their sea legs back. Here we also have the King of Pentacles right here. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Um, and so it's two situations in particular that somebody says, you know what, I'm no longer for looking for people's acceptance in my personal life or looking for the acceptance in my professional life. I'm getting ready to go for it, right? So new money is trying to come across your path and it first comes in as incoming information. So somebody says, hey, listen, family, whoever, I'm not looking for people's acceptance and approval. I'm only looking for God's acceptance and approval. So only God can judge me, judge me. But somebody had to pray their way through some situations and now you're on the other side of it. And some energies are trying to pull you back into it, trying to pull you back, but just the memories, you know, the seeds that were planted. So, um, looking at, when we talk about fire, we're talking about like, you know, um, inspiration, uh, um, um, some people in that in that who are lost can, could have come across as aggressive, you know, could have come across in just wilderness situations. A lot of seeds were planted, like basically being survival mode, stay in a storm situation. You don't need to do all of that. You know, you're not a wild animal, you know, with a tail wagging and ears flapping and flies flying around you. Source is saying to you, now that you're in the light about some things and just really how you can pray to God for clarity. And God will send you what you pray for, but also will send you things that you didn't pray for. And hey, hey, then we can move on from all of that, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you. So I definitely feel like you and somebody coming together are building a very rich legacy together. It could be you and an adult child or adult children. It could be you and a parent. It can be you and a love interest. It's you and somebody, but source is sending new money across your path. And so your whole mindset is changing. Like you don't have to do all of that. You, you, and again, I'm talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. You've been through some storm situations where people just want you to be in struggle mode. Like who is doing all of that when you can just pray to God and God, you know, that God wants you to have the best. So yeah, that's what Taurus is trying to help somebody with. It's like, come away from all of that. Everything has to be this dramatic ending, you know? So yeah, soulmate energy in your life and soulmate could be you and a cousin going into business together building a legacy whoever it is you and a love interest you and somebody you know so congratulations the days of lamenting over stuff heartbroken you know who cheated who lied all this way behind you way behind you i see you're in celebratory mode so thank god in advance that you're You've come through a storm here. We also have the two of pentacles again, and that you don't have to spend a whole lot of time overthinking it. You or your person, y'all don't have to spend a whole lot of time overthinking stuff. See, see how God blesses us. That's right. Happy birthday. That's right. See how God blesses all of us. And that's what I'm seeing here in the cards. I'm not trying to be religious or trying to, you know, dump any religion on anybody. I'm just saying spirituality. You prayed to God inside of you. God answered your prayers. And so it's just saying you, you, so I feel like somebody is breaking out of some kind of a, a shell or something, you know, just manipulation of seeds being planted in you. Here we also have the King of Cups. So I definitely see you on your throne being a lot more emotionally intelligent and just kind of learning how to create your own traditions while some people are still fighting, child. Some people just can't, they can't survive without wands swinging and fighting and cussing each other out and going off. Some people just like all of that. Leave them right in a wilderness situation. But then somebody's going to try to reach out to you, though. They really want to talk to you. They've been crying. They've been crying their eyeballs out. Eyeballs red, bloodshot red. They sad. Oh, child, it's a mess. It's just one big hot mess. But yeah, some people have been crying. You know, here you are, or you made it to your throne of your emotions. You was the one that was crying before. They now 
they crying their eyes out and, you know, come back to me and I want to talk to you about some stuff. Child, talk to the mirror. <laughs> talk to the mirror, child. Cause that's, you know, they need to do the mirror work. I feel like somebody needs to do the mirror work. Yeah, there's some people who want to talk to you now. Now they crying. They they want you to inspire. You inspire me. You and motivate me to be better, to change. And if y'all can see what I'm saying in the spirit realm, I mean, it, it's just exhausting. It, it's just exhausting. You know, now you moving on. See, you were lamenting at first. And now God is saying to you, move on in childlike faith. You know, go ahead and go through this rebirth. Go ahead and do a cord cutting ceremony. So like I said, Sometimes the rose colored glasses have to be forcibly removed because again, you know, y'all are extremely patient sign, you know, even to some, some people may think you all are stubborn. You're going to just do what you want to do in your own time. But once you pray to get through some situations, some storms, like I feel like somebody may have gotten away. Maybe you thought, okay, I want to be in a relationship with a very cantankerous spirit, you know, or, or some friends that I was just a bunch of just, I, I just felt like somebody had a lot of anxiety around him. Like this stomach was like jumping, like jumping beans. It, it was a lot, you know, going on with the fire energy, fire energy. And, um, mm, 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 mm. this is, this is just too much. They could also have earth in their birth chart too and water. Here we also had the King of Swords. So here you are. You just a whole lot wiser now, you know, when you're dealing with energies, here we also have Knight of Cups. You learn how to save yourself. Gotten away from all of that. Like somebody just see how this this horse is um this horse is just like you know quietly just you know moving out of somebody's life. Just like you know I'm just gonna calm myself down. I'm sad, but I'm just gonna control my tears. You know until I can get some place where I can just cry. So maybe you worked out a lot. Maybe your skin was crying. You know like just letting off a lot of you know stuff, but. I'm telling you, some people, they just, they high drama. If it's not some kind of fight going on, and you would think they was getting paid for it, actually, you know, but they not. They just, that's how they just operate. Everything has to be high level of just fighting and cussing people out and going off or whatever. Some people, if they back, that's anybody, anybody that's backed up against a wall, you know, may say some things or whatever and just come out, you know, upset or frustrated and they done. They like, you know what, if I have to get to that level of anger, I'm done. I'm done with everybody. But some people, they keep going back into situations. One situation after another. It's always, they always end something. You know, so you would think that some people, that's where the breakthrough is going to come in. So you think that some people run away from stuff easily when they're, when they're at, you know, in this right here. But this right here can get somebody killed, for real. This right here can get somebody seriously injured and killed. And some people, they thrive on all of that. They like to talk about, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just crazy. Taurus, it's just pure craziness, pure D craziness. They they like these people right here. They love to have those kind of conversations. Yeah, you know, because we was moving furniture. <laughs> we was fighting. You know, I had a knot on my head. They had a knot on their head. I called my side of the family. They called their side of the family. What you want to do? They all, they in that kind of mindset, right? Just always on hype mode, just lost. Don't know why they, per what, the, what the reason is. They on, per on planet Earth. So I, f I feel like you're pulling your time away from that. You're just like, I'm not giving that any time, any more time. I'm moving on. Here we have the five of cups here. Yeah, it's just, it's so counterproductive. It's just, it's just, it's, uh -uh. anyway, so here we have the two and three is five, um, five and five is 10 sources. Definitely, um, you know, um, sending, you know, um, your wishes are being fulfilled and this about being around people who are just as patient as you are. You know, people who are emotionally mature, you know, who if it doesn't involve helping people to adjust their crown, I just don't see you want to be around it. That's where the that's where the breakthrough is gonna come in. Yeah, you keep helping people water their music projects and their film projects, and you keep helping them water, like adding sunlight to it, and they just in this internal struggle and battle about their sexuality, their sensuality. They don't know if one day, one day they want to be happy, the next day they want to be sad. I mean, it's just a bunch of confusion going on in one freaking body. Like, what? you know, it's time to sit down and talk to somebody about this. So I feel like somebody's going to be doing some grounding for real. I feel like you're going to, um, I feel like you're going to be somewhere 
I feel like somebody could be relocating, like being somewhere where we know that water is shaped and guided by the, the, the grounds that holds it, right? So I feel like somebody is getting away from all of that, all of that chaos and confusion and just drama. That's why you see some people, when you meet some people, Taurus, it, that when they're not, it doesn't take them a long, it doesn't take them a lot to move on from relationships like that. Like, um, the first time you may think they run at the first sign of trouble, but they may have seen this their whole life. They may have seen this their entire life. And so when they're around a bunch of high drama, some people, they can just sit there and be like, okay, it's going to eventually end. That's just how people are, whatever, whatever. But if people have been in a jungle situation in their whole life and they see that stuff come out of somebody else, they're like, I'm done. It's a wrap. Goodbye. And so that's what I'm saying. I feel like, I feel like you're at this place right now. You know how to pray for what you want. God is sending you what you want. Like I said, King of Pentacles, very wealthy lifestyle. You're not going to stay in a job, a friendship, romantic family functions, none of that when it's a bunch of this going on. Some, that, I'm telling you, that's how some people they. That's how some people love. They, they, they. It's a, just got to always got to be some kind of friction going on. Always just high drama. If they not, if they don't, <laughs> it's, it's madness. If they don't have a patch over their eye or some kind of arm wrapped up in a sling. <laughs> Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. This is sending out prayers for real. Prayer does work. It does change things. So again, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. So this King of Pentacles is coming out in a lot of people's reading because this is the year of wealth, but it's also the year the karmic relationships are ending too. So eight is that karmic number. And so you'll just see people go from, they're just in, just a, in a loop of karmic relationships. They just go from one karma situation, karmic situation to the next. Like they don't get their themselves a chance to kind of sort of reset until, and I think everybody has been there because it, it does take a, it takes time, especially if you deeply rooted. When we talk about King of Pentacles energy, if you've been around this type of drama your whole life, it may take you a minute. You may end up getting married a couple of times because you know, it's still not clicking because that's just how you were wired to be around high drama. You could be going back into the same, stay on a job forever because you've just been around this your whole life until one day something says, no, no, let me get you away from all of that so you can really, really see that this right here is not normal. Swinging wand. <laughs> that, that mess is not normal by any definition. It's not normal. People always fighting and threatening each other and... No, it wasn't meant for us to be like here like that. So anyway, here we have the two of pentacles, right? So sources, again, we got two, four, six. You're not looking for people's acceptance and approval anymore. And people feel some kind of way about it. They feel some kind of way about it. You making your money however you're going to make your money. You're not discriminating against people because of their sexuality or sensuality. Here we have, you feel free. You feel like a teenager again. Coming through the woods. You left that, that mess behind and they still fighting. You feel stronger. You feel, you know, more charged up in a positive way. You got a lot of great ideas. Here we have the four of cups. So a lot of good things coming your way. So while Mercury is retrograde, it's retrograde until April 25th. You may be thinking, okay, this is where you want to increase your prayer and meditation life though. And really kind of invest in yourself, invest in your creativity because it's going to pay off handsomely. But first things first, you got to come through. You got to get away from those types. of. I mean, it's hard to even think and process your thoughts. A lot of people think they can handle it because they've been around it their whole lives until you realize you look up and go, gosh, I could have accomplished so much not being around these types of energies. They always in, they always in fight mode. It's an internal warfare, a spiritual warfare. Mm-hmm cause you a nightmare and they don't even care yeah so you've been through enough here's the ace and the uh, nine of swords you've already gone through enough pain and hurt already so you're not putting yourself through no more nightmares and even talking about it would invoke now yeah, yep he, yep somebody had listen somebody somebody had to you know maybe cut their parents off or maybe both sides of the family could do that umbilical cord somebody may grow up like i said somebody may have grown up seeing that all around them all their whole life and had to cut some people off 
you know, just, just to free yourself. You just, somebody feels a whole lot lighter, a lot happier. You know, you just around a different group of energy. So while you're waiting on, you know, while you're waiting on the things that you pray for, like I said, just keep giving God the praise for real. Keep letting God know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me through that storm. And it could have been happening for years, you know, for somebody that you, this is what somebody has been praying for. Kept going back to family functions, hoping that, you know, everybody would be harmonious and peaceful. I'm telling you, age doesn't equate to wisdom. Some people would just be fighting and they just, they could barely. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Whew. So <laughs> it just, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So you just, you refuse to be confused by people who just like to, who like to be in fight mode. So yeah, you got, somebody is very creative here. You know, like you could probably play instruments or sing or dance, or you probably an artist in some way, shape, or a fashion. You're so creative, but a, a being around energy vampires would literally drain you dry will literally drain you dry being around those people. You forget, you just, you just forget how gifted and talented you are. So like I said, God going to make sure you financially independent. So you don't need to ask them for anything. Just leave my name off the list. Don't invite me this year, please. <laughs> you see, we have five of cups. Here we had a five of cups. Somebody's going to tell their family, please. I, my peace is paramount. I, please just leave my name off the list. Don't invite me. Mm -mm, that is not a wish fulfilled for me. That I've been lamenting too long, sitting around waiting for, you know, you know, healthy water, fresh water to be poured into me. Not, you know, not colorless, um, not colorless poison. Uh-uh. Nope. So yeah, that's definitely not a wish being fulfilled for you to be around energies that, you know, mm-mm. Well, your inner child doesn't even feel safe. Your inner child is pulling, tugging on your inner inner self. Like, come on, we got to go. We got to get out of here. About to start. <laughs> About to start. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Lord have mercy. So that's what I'm saying. You and your soul made together. Y'all are like. It's nine, nine, nine. Y'all are unique because y'all have gone through some stuff. Y'all have really gone through a lot of blood, sweat, and tears with some people. And you're saying, you know what? Let me save myself because I don't want to. I don't want to put put myself in a situation like that again, ever again. You know, um, of just being, yeah, somebody, yeah, you and your person coming together. It's something that's going to be real nice with you all. And just the conversations that you have. It's not like you're talking about people, but for real, like here we have the nine of cups. Like I said, nines across the board. Nine, 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 nine. Nine is the death rebirth number. See, on the other side, you and your person building a life together have a lot to talk about. But I don't feel like you all are going to be trauma bonding. I feel like both of you all are very creative, you know, um, very gifted and talented. Lots of laughter going on just about stuff. <laughs> You know, and I'm talking about laughing so hard. I feel like y'all gonna be like holding y'all ribs laughing so hard for real. Just, it's not a funny matter when you're going through it, when you come through all of that. Then on the other side, you go, man, you survived that. Yep. So that's you and your person. Mm-hmm. Soulmate energy. Both of y'all just shaking your head, laughing until tears are just flying out of your eyes laughing. But Source is definitely making sure you are very wealthy and financially independent. And your person is financially independent too. Which another thing you all have in common is that neither one of you all are looking for people's acceptance or approval. That's what that's another thing you all have in, in um and, and not a lot and you all are not giving it a whole lot of thought. Y'all not even yeah, like before when you were looking for people's acceptance and approval. You all are not giving it a whole lot of your, your um, thoughts this time. You're just like, yep, I, you survived it. Survived a bunch of manipulation, a bunch of negativity, a bunch of, you know. Mm. You probably got, if, you, if you're if you a comedian or a songwriter or an artist or whatever, any you got a lot of material here, a lot of material that's going to make you very, very wealthy. Somebody is very creative in this. And we also had a strength card, right? So, yeah. Your meekness, you know, was your, your vulnerability was definitely your strength, you know, and just, just saying that's how, that's what helps somebody get out of a wilderness situation because 
Like I said before, I feel like somebody prayed and cried to get out of some situations. You got out of those situations. And it's just a lot. I mean, while you were going through it, it was nothing funny about it at all. But now on the other side, you're like, oh my God, now somebody is grateful to be alive. Every moment of the day, somebody is just grateful to God. Just like, God, thank you. Thank you that I'm awake from a nightmare. Yep. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. Mm -hmm. Harvest time. That's why I said before I even pulled this right here, seven of pentacles, I feel like somebody is somebody planting new seeds somewhere. Just getting away from all the madness. That's what's going to, that's what's really helping somebody to just say, you know, I need to, um, you know, I just need to move differently. Like I, I didn't even realize it was so deeply rooted. Ace of pentacles. Yeah. So you're not going to be spending a whole lot of time overthinking this. Not at all. You and somebody building a very rich leg legacy together and neither one of you all are looking for um, approval and acceptance from family, friends, whatever. You know, somebody's going to say y'all are being rebellious and this kind of stuff. But the stuff that you survived looking at your cards. Yeah. Both of y'all felt like y'all were on an island by yourselves. That's what y'all Y'all have so much in common. It's not even funny. It really isn't even funny. Y'all going to feel like y'all were on an island by yourselves. Like what the heck happened? But victoriously, so y'all are going to find each other. Yep, yeah, we'll find each other for like teenagers again. So yeah. Yep, you and your person. Y'all yeah, been around the same. I mean, y'all like y'all lives are almost identical. And when you start praying and asking God for like what your type is and what type of energies you want to be around, you know, that's what somebody's gonna pray for. Somebody's gonna say, you know what, I want to be around energies where they can relate to me, but not in a judgmental way, you know, and um I don't have to be feel like I'm in survival mode with them, you know, where they're just as patient with me as I am with them. We just laugh and have a good time together, you know, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm seeing for you coming across your path. But you're leaving them people in the in the in the in a wilderness situation. You're just praying for them and but keep it moving forward. By the time they finish, you know, hitting each other upside the head with their poles and 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 wands and tiki torches. <laughs> goodness <laughs> oh lord hold my mule for real a time for a healing for real it's a time for healing because mm, mm, mm. just lord 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 that's all you can say that is all you can say just high drama. <laughs> All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and close out your reading. That's right, receiving. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance for real. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Let's, let's, um, since I feel like somebody's removing their rose colored glasses, you know, gently removing their rose colored, it just feels good when you're just at peace, you know, and, and you leaving people behind all that mess. You can send prayers that way. When they reach that frequency, they'll catch it. Cause it's like, it's, a, it's, it's a euphoric feeling when you really, really at peace with yourself. It's like away from all of that chaos and confusion and you and your person, y'all just cracking up laughing. Here we have dream even bigger. That's why right. Somebody wasn't dreaming big enough. Somebody apologizes for betraying you. They really betray themselves. You are protected and loved. That's it. They miss you. Yeah, they can miss you with the drama, though. Here we have, you're protected by angels. Yep, always have been. Yep, it's time to start closing out some cycles in love. Um, Angel uh, Gabriel, uh, Gabriel, the messenger of God is with you. You have a whole new attitude. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, somebody's an incubus, sex demon. And was definitely threatening to, um, you know, take your star out of the sky. So when I tell you that your peace, you can't put a price tag on peace and getting away from these sex demons and, you know, all kinds of other kind of demons. 
And see, here's the thing about sex demons. You, first of all, you don't even have to, you don't even have to, you got to understand when we talk about auric layers, which I talked about, I taught on in previous readings. You For your for this right here, we're talking about your um, sacral chakra, dealing with your sex and all of that. You only need to be two to three inches off somebody's la auric layer to even absorb their toxicity. So imagine... You being around a bunch, let's say for instance, you dating somebody, right? And, um, and you're around a whole bunch of cheaters. Eventually, because you're absorbing all of that in that largest organ, your skin, eventually you're going to feel like, okay, I'm the odd person out because there's so much pressure that I feel like I need to be a cheater too. I feel like I got to be around these types of energies. Like you feel like that's normal. You know, to be engaging in circus sex with a bunch of people and doing all this feels good at first until you realize that it's unfulfilling. You say, you know what? I want to meet somebody. I want to meet a soulmate. I want to meet a soulmate, you know, and I want and I want us to build a life together. I want us to do X, Y and Z together. Yeah, but it was a lot of things that was passed down through that umbilical cord, you know, just around the other energies and stuff that you were around and seeing a whole bunch of stuff. So where is the, um, okay. Let me do the number here. Yeah. 888. I'm abundant. That's it right there. So as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. That's it. A place for abundance. Because who has time for all that wilderness activity going on for real? Uh, one last thing, and we're going to go ahead and close this out. But yeah, happy birthday, Taurus. That's right. Happy birthday to each of my Taurus. We're going to have some giveaways coming up very soon. If you want to drop some comments below, because some other signs are already sending me text messages and their sun sign, not even <laughs> Taurus, because people already know what I, how I do my giveaways. So here we have growth. I am a work in progress, period. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I'm in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles. Roadblocks create opportunity. Mm-hmm. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Again, this video is for April the 23rd through April the 30th. We're in a full moon phase. We have a full moon in a, a full pink moon in um, Scorpio. It's time to remove the rose colored glasses and just start seeing everything that you've been praying to God for is coming your way. You just got to be able to move the other stuff out of the way that you don't want, right? So you got to take that kind of action and start leaving some bridges burned. Start praying ahead of time, asking God for clarity. Like, let me know, God, how low will somebody go for real? Like, would they, or do they even have it in them to do certain things? So that could be a distraction for me. But that's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.